it's just unbelievable just the year we've had you know we haven't had a great couple of years and this year we've all came together our management is just exceptional with Decky, me, Holly, John, Joe and Maureen and um, we couldn't have done it without them and our girls just put in hard work at the end of the day that's a paid off. First of all commiserations to um, Eglis there it must be gut wrenching for them like to be honest we, we sort of stole that a wee bit of, and um, but then girls have worked very hard and I think they deserve what they got out of that game today. Some drama a lot of drama there, a lot of tension and nail biting and stuff and I haven't got a nail left to tell you the truth. <laughs> was it your plan to get two goals at the end? <laughs> no, funny enough we've been conceding goals all year and we've worked really hard on it for the past two or three weeks on not getting, giving away goals and we've got our rewards today. Them girls, oh my god, so many girls I actually coached in that long since I've been playing. But we are just like sisters. Everything we do together, we do it all together. It is just unbelievable. We train three times a week. We haven't been at Ulster for 2006, was the last time we were in Ulster. We have been rebuilding from then. And from 2006 to now, we always felt we were good enough to win. And we just took more knocks and knocks and knocks. I have been in English's place. They are a fantastic team. They will dust themselves down and get up and get out of the game. We just have such believers and such big tradition in our club. It's all about winning, it's never about dying and about everybody throwing themselves over the line. And today we showed that. The English took the lead and we fought and we fought and we fought and we just got there. Brilliant. Your greatest day in Camogie? Oh, definitely, has to be. It'll be even better if we take the All-Ireland with us now too. That'll be our next focus now.